These skirt steak tacos are some of my favorites of all time. Let's make them. So for the meat, we're gonna need skirt steak, a handful of cilantro, a bit of a jalapeno, a couple limes, four or five cloves of garlic, and our spice mixture of salt, pepper, cumin, and Mexican oregano. To start, simply chop up the cilantro. And we're just gonna add that right onto our meat. Next, we're gonna take our washed jalapeno, we're gonna slice it lengthwise, and then turn it into a fine dice. Now you can add that right to the steak as well. Now we're gonna mince our garlic. To get the peel off, I like to put it down and give it a good whack. The peel should come right off. Now we're gonna mince the garlic and add it right to the steak as well. Now quarter the limes and juice them right over the steak. I'm also gonna add a drizzle of avocado oil and massage it into the meat. Now I'm gonna cover it up and we're gonna put it in the fridge for about an hour. Now on a fresh surface, we're gonna prepare our tomatillo salsa. I'm gonna start with a handful of tomatillos and I'm gonna slice them all in half. Next time, I'm gonna take some jalapenos. I'm gonna cut the top off and slice them lengthwise, leaving the seeds in for that spice. I'm also gonna use a green pepper and cut into several chunks. I'm also gonna take a white onion and we're just gonna use about just over a half of it for right now. Save the rest for your tacos. We're just gonna quarter it just like this. Now add everything to a sheet tray. Now we're gonna spray with avocado oil and we're gonna broil in the oven until nicely charred. While we're waiting, we can prepare the rest of the ingredients. We're gonna take the rest of the cilantro and we're just gonna roughly chop it up. Save half for the salsa and half to top your tacos with. We're also gonna cut up some of that lime, quartering it so it's easy to juice. We're gonna take the rest of the onion and we're just gonna dice it. Once everything's nice and roasted, we're gonna add it all to a blender. We're also gonna add a few cloves of garlic. You can roast that too if you want, I just forgot. And we're gonna add lime juice to taste. My salsa recipes are almost never the same twice. I'm always adjusting my ratios, so feel free to do the same. Now I'm gonna throw this on the blender and pulse it, making sure it's just a bit chunky. And I almost forgot, also add the cilantro. Pulse it again if you forgot like me. Now we've got this beautiful tomatillo salsa. Make sure to taste and adjust the seasoning as needed. Mmm, perfect. Now that it's been about an hour for the steak, we're gonna go throw it on the grill. Make sure not to marinate for too long because the acid from the lime will change the color of the steak. It's a little chilly outside, but we're gonna throw the steak on a ripping hot grill. Flip the steak after a minute or so, and once they're done, throw them on a tray and run inside because it's freezing cold out. <laughs> also, very important, let the steak rest for 10 minutes to make sure all the juices stay inside when you cut it. And of course, every good taco needs a good tortilla. These are super awesome. So now that it's been 10 minutes, we're gonna cut into the steak. Skirt steak has to be cut very specifically. We're gonna cut it in half first, and we're gonna cut against the grain. Look how good that looks. We're gonna take a tortilla, or three, that have been steaming for a while, add a few strips of that delicious steak to each. We're gonna sprinkle on some of that white onion, top with a bit of our tomatillo salsa, some cilantro, and I always add some pickled red onions and a squeeze of lime to finish it off. There's only one thing left to do. It's to enjoy these tacos. Mmm.